Okay, so the next step is to define different sections or the memory sections for uh, assembly or uh, C code to run or where to place the data and where to place the variables. So I'm going to define sections here. And the command is uh, sections. So the first section will be the ISR section, or we call it ISR vector. This will have uh, uh, the interrupt service request. Uh, it will have the address of a list of functions that will be called for when each interrupt occurs. So we will get into the detail uh, at a later point, but this, uh, this section will be defined in our assembly file and it will have uh, the list of functions. This is aligned on word. the ISR vectors. We will define this in our assembly file later. And this thing goes to our flash. The next we will define uh, the text section. Before we do that, let's uh, review. This will be required by the C program when we run the C. So let's take a look at uh, the basic requirements for the C program. So usually we uh, prefer to run uh, or write code in a high level language like C because that helps us manipulate registers or uh, work with variables without manipulating individual registers. So it makes it easier. Uh, but before we write a C program, the GCC compiler will generate different sections for it. So for example, we will have the text or code section that will store the executable. We'll have uh, a data segment that will store uh, initialized variables let's say you now we say x equal to 5 so that will be stored in the data section and we will we have bss segment which will store uninitialized values so let's say we define just int i you know, or int i equal to 0 they will go to the bss and then we have the heap which will uh, contain uh, you now which uh, where we allocate a chunk of memory dynamically so in our application code we use a function like malloc uh, to allocate memory and then we will have stack which is used to store temporary variables it is also used to store input arguments and written addresses so you know we can uh, let's say a function a is calling function b it will push some of those uh, uh, input arguments in there and it will call function b and function b will look at the stack and will uh, get the input arguments so the uh, the stack starts at uh, the bottom of the address so usually when uh, you know, uh, in memory you know, the um, embedded systems memory the lowest address is specified down and as we go, you know, as we go up, the higher addresses it goes up. So here we can see that uh, uh, the, it's a diagram of different uh, C program memory regions, and uh, many other high-level programs also use uh, a similar uh, memory region. So we have the text for executable code, data for in initialized data, BSS for uninitialized data, and the heap that is used for dynamically allocating memory, and with the stack. So stack stands, uh, starts at the bottom of the uh, 
uh, memory and then it keeps coming down. So let's say you know it's uh, the memory of 16 0 x f f then the next uh, would be uh, 12 and then because it's each of them are uh, 4 byte long and the next would be 8 and 4 and so on this will just keep coming down. So let's keep coding our uh, text region this will be used to code uh, uh, place the code or C executable and we will keep all the sections that are named text uh, that is this is generated on on the GCC GCC will have this sections just to be safe we will also have dot so star is a wild card uh, so anything that starts with text will also be uh, stored here and this goes to flash as well now we code the data So everything is aligned to uh, four bytes. And then we define uh, variables in our linker script that can be used in our assembly or reference in our assembly program. So when we say uh, s data, so this will this is a variable where we are storing the start of this uh, section and we can reference to this variable while we are coding an assembly program referenced okay this is the start of the memory location data we will keep your data data star everything aligned on four bytes and we'll also define another variable e data it's the end of uh, the data section, uh, data segment. Uh, 